Hello, my name is Flo and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you four tips on how to improve your physical health from the inside out. We want our physical health to be optimal in order to express the highest frequency possible in this physical body. We want to be able to enjoy all the pleasures of life, like hiking, dancing, being with loved ones, being in nature, swimming in rivers, and more. So today, I'm going to give you four of my favorite ways to stay very healthy from the inside out. That's right. I'm going to focus on the creation of health through our thoughts and emotional states. So the first way to improve our health from the inside out is to be in gratitude as much as possible. I am a big fan of gratitude, which is the first and foremost tool to shift our state of being. Gratitude is the magic trick that helps us focus on what we love instead of what we fear. Being in gratitude is being in the ultimate state of receivership. The plan has been executed and you have received what you ask for or better. So find something you're grateful for in your body, your health, and just dwell on it. Feel the feelings linked to being pain-free and healthy. And now let's push the envelope and let's find something we want to improve in our bodies or our state of health. And let's be grateful in advance for health to increase and be restored. For example, right now I am suffering from a flare of Achilles tendinitis. And I started saying this affirmation. I am so grateful and happy to be able to walk, to dance, and to move freely and pain-free. My tendons are so healthy and their fibers are so perfectly aligned. I feel so supported. When we are grateful in advance for an experience, we draw it faster into our reality as we combine a clear thought with an elevated state of emotion. Let's take, for example, a body image shift that we want to realize. A few years ago, in my own experience, I did not like the look and texture of my hair. That was a lifelong hatred. I had short and curly layer hair and I wanted long and straight hair, of course. So I would always think and talk badly about my hair. Replace that by our breasts, our legs, whatever we don't like. Then one day I started saying, I am so grateful for my beautiful hair. I love my hair, just basically mechanically like that. Within two weeks, this friend of mine I hadn't seen in years just showed up from France. And she, was, she just came visit. And she brought with her these hair extensions. And for fun, she braided them into my hair and temporarily, basically, never had the intention of keeping them in. But then my hair started dreading and the next thing you know i have dreads and they're long and straight and easy to manage and i have the hair i've always wanted without even thinking about it this was a scenario i could have never even fathomed by myself and i have tons of experiences like this and examples i just thank the universe for the end result that i wanted to feel an experience beforehand and let spirit work out the details so to be Grateful in advance for perfect health, our nervous system, for example, be grateful in advance for our glandular system working perfectly, our reproductive system, our brain. This is a perfect, wonderful practice to have every single day. The second way to improve our health from the inside out is to have awareness through meditation. Meditation is a powerful tool that resets the mind and the brain and helps in all kinds of ways. It is beneficial to pay attention to our thoughts and long-lasting emotional states. As we are vibrational energy beings and our thoughts are electric emissions of the brain and our feelings are magnetic. 
through the combination of both, we send what is called an electromagnetic signature or frequency into the quantum field of infinite possibilities, which in turn starts manifesting that energy as an experience in our lives. If we combine some positive thoughts and an elevated state of emotion, we create a signature that is going to bring us the fulfillment of what we desire or not. Unfortunately, we focus more on what we don't want than on what we want. And we often spiral into an emotional state of despair, sending out a signature of fear, of unease, of dis-ease, of despair into the field. I invite you to repeat things like, I am so happy and grateful to be 100% healthy. I'm so happy and grateful that all my cells are functioning in total perfection at the right frequency. I'm so happy and grateful to be alive, to be breathing deeply, and that all my digestive, heart, lung system are in perfect health always. Then we can combine such pointed thoughts with an elevated state of emotion, and that's the key to optimal health. What is, however, an elevated state of emotion? And how can we get there when we're not really feeling it? Our natural state when we are born is joy, innocence, gratitude, happiness, and awe. Such feelings induce the secretion of the good hormones like oxytocin, serotonin, or dopamine. In order to reach those elev elevated states of emotion, we need to get a sense of purpose. We have to eat good food. We have to have good water, good air. We have to be around good friends. We have to touch, be touched. We have to make love, be in nature, dance, be creative. All these activities induce eleva elevated states of emotions in human beings. So the second way to improve our health from the inside out is to focus on affirming our health in our minds and on cultivating consciously elevated states of emotions. The third tip for our journey to optimal health from the inside out is to talk to our body regularly and to never let anything negative about our bodies leave our lips. I intuitively started doing this a few years ago. I started on my spiritual path. After I understood that my mind and body were one and connected, I immediately started talking to my body in good, praising ways, thanking all my trillions of cells for collaborating in such harmony and for carrying me and working so wonderfully together for my optimal health. Another way to do this is to do affirmations, the ones, for example, that I just said, while putting on lotion or oil on our skins, while we are being touched kindly by a loved one, we can start repeating those affirmations while we are being touched by someone else or by ourselves. We can go into great details or focus on areas that are problematic, affirming as we massage what we want the end result to feel like. For example, thank you so much, my wonderful knees, for carrying me and functioning so perfectly. Thank you so much, my hips, my ankles, for allowing me to run, dance, and hike freely. Thank you so much, my stomach, for digesting so perfectly and allowing me to live without even noticing your presence. Thank you so much, my wonderful brain, for processing all this information and always being so clear and precise. So never let anything negative about your body or about anything else live your lips. That's a very important thing. Try, for example, to avoid saying things like, 
I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm not good enough, my legs are too much like this, not enough like that. I know it's really hard because the external circumstances are often proving that we are skinny, fat, not this, not that. But we need to keep loving ourselves first and foremost, whatever we look like. Speaking badly about our bodies reinforces self-hatred, which in turn can affect our immune system negatively. We are the only one who can love ourselves unconditionally. We have to love what we have and we have to strive to become a better and healthier person every day. The last tip of today in order to improve your health from the inside out has to do with the profound knowing that the source that created us can heal us and that we can actually heal ourselves. There are nowadays thousands of studies on people healing themselves of incurable diseases through positive thinking, meditation, and the power of the mind and emotions. When we see that people who have had multiple personality disorders, for example, sometimes people have a skin disease when they are in one personality and that skin disease disappears when they shift personality, we can understand that our bodies can actually shift pretty rapidly by themselves. So in order to heal ourselves from the inside out, we need to go inside, ask ourselves why we created an imbalance or a disease and try to change the habit or the long lasting emotional state that got us stuck into disease and illness. Thank you so much for listening to me today. I hope those tips will help you improve your health from the inside out. And I will see you again soon for another video. Have a beautiful day.